So Assassin's Creed kept with the tradition, and they somehow always get leaked of before the game is somehow. officially announced. Somehow. They always gets leaked. Purpose. Every single game <laughs> is leaked. But this latest leak for this newest game, the screenshot, it looks like the setting will be in Egypt, which is what the rumor has been for the last year. In this screenshot, it shows the character in a boat, which is the same for Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Yeah, you covered that. <laughs> no one's going to notice that you had to <laughs> and, perfectly enunciate. And Rogue as well. <laughs> yeah, we had to, we had to do Rouge? a cut. We had Assassin's Creed Rouge. Rouge. Yeah. Rouge. Um, how were the controls with the boat in Black Flag? And rogue. Just say Assassin's Creed Four. Oh, yeah. I actually, I actually, <laughs> en- I actually enjoyed the controls. A yeah, it was it, good. They were. Uh, uh, I found no little things where I was just like, "Oh, I'm glitching all over the damn place" or anything like that. The, driving the boats were good. Or, yeah. or just... And the different boats handled differently. You know, the steering speed. That kind oh of stuff. yeah. Some of the mechanics of how you repair a boat when you're in the middle. You're fighting three different types of ships. And you get damaged, and so you basically take resources from one to repair yours in the middle of a big battle with two other ships. Doesn't make sense, but it works for the context of that fight. So, In the screenshot on the top left, shows like a mission status. It actually states, follow a character to another character's name's villa. And that character's name, the, the villa, is named after an Egyptian queen. So that's where sort of the verification is not confirmed... But that is where it leads to... Sorry, I have to ask. Is this Egyptian queen? Would they also be called a black flag? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was right there. <laughs> yeah. Again, you can probably assume what I said. Again, that it was Oh, cut. I assumed you were going to cut that out. I just really yeah. take no. that. No, no, no. Right. I'll, I'll keep that in. Because, again, it was very awkward of how I enunciated black flag. like he flag. does black flag. He yeah. likes to keep it in. <laughs> keep that in. Uh, and Mo can, Mo's losing his shit. <laughs> Again, <laughs> this is the context. Oh, Let's watch God. our phrasing. What's going on right now? Don't lose your shit. Uh, He'll help you hold it in. Yeah, I will help you hold it in. So you know Steve's nickname is Corky, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm a married man now. I'm a married man now. Oh, you need sure to watch out. What happens in Honolulu? <laughs> uh, yeah. in Honolulu. Yeah. Yeah. What happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. So if it's more than likely confirmed, it's not confirmed officially, but more than likely it will be in Egypt. And I'm actually extremely excited for that. I haven't played Assassin's Creed since the original. If it is Egyptian, I am actually might be going in on this Assassin's Creed. Like, you didn't play any of the Ezio games? I didn't play any of Assassin's Creed except the original. I don't think you didn't like the first one. I've heard... I enjoyed it, was, it for the first one. Yeah, but it was repetitive. Uh, it was repetitive. Uh, I have nothing against the series. It just always came out in November, and there's always other games I was more invested in and wanted That's to fair. play. But if Egypt and Rome are my two favorite historical civilizations. Mm-hmm. Um, for some reason, since seventh grade, I've been fascinated with that history. And you didn't play the Ezio trilogy? Because you know, in there you go after the Pope and his family, the Borgias, right? I, I did. I was aware. But Egypt, okay. it might put me over the edge. Again, there's always games that come out in November. So are you guys excited? Because I know you guys have been the Assassin's Creed. Or are you excited to go have a trip through Egypt? Uh, it's a day one for me. I mean, immediately. It's been <clears throat> it's been some time since we've had two, Assassin's two years. This is the so the only the, time because yeah. Assassin's Creed series has always been every year, uh, but last year they had the movie to fill in, oh, which I almost watched on the plane to Hawaii. I was very <laughs> I almost oh, got sorry. it to watch it. Sorry, almost. You that bored? <laughs> My Nintendo Switch ran out of power. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I only got three hours. It's a six-hour flight. It died in three hours. <laughs> um, with all the improvements that they've been, that you know, they've been paying attention to between, uh, to bring this up, like Watch Dogs, they made several improvements to Watch Dogs too. They're doing the same thing with Assassin's Creed. Ever since the whole Unity mess up, um, I liked Syndicate. Syndicate, to me, was good. I, I enjoyed it. Um... This next one, I can I can see them making another leap forward, 
do some progress. Two years. Yeah, some some good, you know, progress on the actual game. And so, um, yeah, I'll give it a I'll give it a shot. And Rich, I've learned a lot about Assassin's Creed at the bar. Talking about that's actually I didn't need to play him. I got it from Rich. Um, all the information, the story. So what? Are you excited for going trip? To yeah, Egypt? I, I'm like, well, it's going to be day one. I'm into Egyptian mythology, so that's going to be fun. Um, I don't think the boats are what people are thinking. I don't think it's going to be like Assassin's Creed Four. I th- it looked more like it's either it's a, a smaller system boat, or yeah, yeah, to yeah, get from small, parts, yeah, just to get you across all the canals because that was normal. Um, I want them to revamp some of the story because I think after Desmond died, spoilers for a game that's ten years old. Um, what you, you don't have the same connection, and they've tried to put you as the the Desmond character because you're play testing. You know, it's it's your Xbox, and you're playing an Abstergo <laughs> game, and it just happens to be about this. Yeah, it was a nice little take, but it's not it's not moving the store the story forward. And that was the problem: is that Desmond was building towards that 2012 that prophecy that everybody thought the world would end. And remember, it came out near Christmas of of 2012. So it made sense that they were going there, and then Desmond dies, and you're like, okay, prophecy averted, fulfilled, however they want to do that, and then it's they've kind of shifted their view away. Although some of those sub-characters are still there, I need you to move forward the present day and the, the, the past 10 stuff, because if you're not going to, then you can drop one or the other, and obviously it's not going to be the present day stuff. And that's always been the problem, that's the problem with the movie, is that... They focus on one and not the other. They don't really explain it to you. So they they need to find a way to, to tell that story effectively. That's why I liked Assassin's Creed is it was a game that was happening, a story inside of a story, but they both played into each other, especially as you finished Inception. That, especially when you got to the Ezio thing, where Ezio was talking to Desmond through the whole process of talking to those the, the elder race or whatever. That was that was an interesting take. That was good storytelling. That was something you couldn't do in other games. That's what I want to see from them. They don't have to focus on that specific aspect of the story, but that was a good device for them to tell a different take on that kind of story. I want to see them do that. Right now, it's hey, I'm I I hate uh, Ubisoft too. Well, then why am I buying your game every year? Yeah. It's it's nice that you turn yourself into the the big soulless corporation. You know, it's a funny, you know, tongue-in-cheek reference to what many of the, the industry may think of them. And they're trying to, you know, take the piss. But tell me a story. That's why I wanted to play this. That's why everybody loves Ezio. is because he's a character, has an arc. He definitely changes from the playboy that he is. Was he from the original? He's, he starts in two, but he has three one. games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the last of his games is where you tie up one and two and Desmond's story all together. Altair, Ezio, and Desmond kind of like join forces. Especially but, Revelations. Revelations was yeah. like, wow. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying is like, Ezio goes through some things that lets him experience what Altair had gone through. He then gives that information to Desmond while the the god type characters that created humanity kind of were, were trying to manipulate Desmond and Ezio <clears throat> gives him secret information in the middle of these conversations. He somehow knows that Somewhere down the line, Desmond's going to live his life or part of his life through Ezio's eyes. So Ezio finds a way to basically talk to himself knowing that there's going to be a time when Desmond can see what I'm saying to myself. And he gives himself a, he gives Desmond a message that way. Yeah. So Crazy. Yeah. That's a story it's that you a can't do in other, yeah. in other ways. Yeah. It was a fun way to play with their own mythology. <clears throat> That's why I think it's inventive. It's, I like those differences of technique. That's where artistry comes in as opposed to doing the same seven story types you know boy finds a girl boy loses a girl boy wins a girl back you can alter that for who those Legend of are. Zelda it's, it's almost the, the same, same thing yeah thing. <laughs> they you, just but it's change how, a little things here and but there, it's but. when you make those little alterations like the fact that we get so so anxious about well there's like three Zelda timelines and here's how they all connect and then this game connects to that one but it's a reference to this and all that only happens if you use that flute and uh, Ganon wins here Ganon loses here in the 64 the, the version but that was interesting that's that's putting that different coat of paint yeah. on it and made it a little bit more in depth that's what we want and even with the new with the new uh, Assassin's Creed that's been out there um, well, I'm not too sure about Unity but I know that um, uh, Black Flag and uh, Syndicate both mentioned Desmond yeah they both have... Black Flag? That game? Yeah. Okay. 
Just want to con- confirm. <laughs> they, yes. Black flag. They do. They do. Uh, AC4. That's on the call. <laughs> yeah, AC4. Um, you know, they, they do mention the, the character and what he did and what, yeah. what, what his No, because Sean and Rebecca are still around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I would like to see a new lead character come into play and kind of just keep it going. I mean... There's so much to be revealed, and I know E3 is going to be, you know, awesome for us now. Because, I mean, that's a, a game that we look forward to, yeah. but, you know. And a game that hasn't been on my horizon for almost 10 years since the, the first one. Again, I have nothing against the series. Um, they've all looked great. They've all had great reviews. They sell well. But nothing stood out where it was. Just nothing stood out, but play. Egyptian mythology, again, I'm with you. I've always been fascinated with it. I want to climb some pyramids, fucking jump off it, assassinate someone, go off the Sphinx. Cut its nose off. We'll see. But, hey, who knows? Dude, that's not that's, funny. That, that was yeah, way too funny for you to pull much, that yeah. one off. Oh. I'm the pun guy. Come on, <laughs> really? Yeah. Who knows? Pull, pull, that, who out knows? Of, <laughs> pull that out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Who knows? So by the that time joke you, blew. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God bless you. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My child. Peace. Peace be with you. Yeah. With you. Yeah, I'm, I'm married now. I, I need it. Blessed. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's Come. weird your voice hasn't changed considering your balls are firmly in her purse now. Yeah. They were, <laughs> they were in a acid <laughs> jar. Yeah, they were on the shelf before. Yeah. Now she carries them around. Yeah, carries them around. Where are we going? She pulls them out and she's like, you guys like? You want something in 1979? That's good. It's, it tastes delicious. Assassin's Creed Harney period. I know. Ooh. <laughs> it's a great transition. Let's talk about the time periods Assassin's Creed has been in. So they've been through the Third Crusade. The Renaissance, Colonial Era, French Revolution, and Victorian Era for the five main periods in the console versions. I know with the handhelds, they went to China, India, and Russia, I believe. There might be something that I missed. So now they're looking for Egyptian. What time period do you think would be next? They're running out of time periods. What time period would draw you in after Um, this next game? Kind of, you know, with with them doing the Egyptian theme, if it goes that route, um, <clears throat> I would. And excuse me if this is jumping too far ahead. I would like to see them present day. Well, they're kind of doing that, but the, they haven't given right. us control. Right, yeah. exactly. Like control towards. It's called Watchdogs. Present day, which is. They don't even I, 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 no, no, <laughs> we have talked about that too. Which yeah, you know, it's called Watchdogs is the present day. But that's yeah, but you know. <laughs> Um, we have we have sec as part of the the brotherhood, so. <laughs> and that is a discussion that is more than just saying. Yeah. So you'd want to in in the present day assassinate some people. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that how you'd end the series? I don't know where where to t- where. No. To go. No. There's just too much that could be done with it, with with, yeah. the, with the Assassin's Creed. It goes all the way back to Adam and Eve as part of their mythology. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. And Rich, what would be your next time period? Actually, as you were mentioning this, I started brainstorming. So I want to do Moscow 1980, the height of the Cold War. Oh, wow. It makes sense for the Templars and the Assassin's Brotherhood. You've got the great architecture. You've got a huge portion of the, the gaming public internationally. Wouldn't have ever had any kind of experience inside Russia, especially, you know, you're climbing the, the outside of the Kremlin, stuff like that. You can get the political entry. you got the assassination missions. Makes sense you're trying to get intel. It makes sense that both of those sides would be going against it. They're manipulating the war, caused it, whatever. I think it'd be even funnier if the assassins are basically the Russians. So it's mainly on the present day, though. Holy sort of. shit. <laughs> Make that game. <laughs> That guy right there, there you go. make it. I want to play that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Have they done one in, in with the Coliseum? As a Coliseum, yes. yeah. Which game is that? Um, I think it was actually Brotherhood. So it's the follow up to Assassin's Creed Two. Assassin's Creed Two, oh, and then it's Brotherhood, right. and then it's Revelations. Yeah. yeah. So with Rome and the Roman mm-hmm. Empire. After clearing the aqueducts, and then you end up yep. going towards the Coliseum. Yeah. So I remember that. Looks like I might need to play uh, Brotherhood mm-hmm. then. That would be the one I want, Rome. But Egyptian, I'm fucking ecstatic. But that's the thing. You've got to get 
Assassin's Creed 2, all three of those games. Because they all flow in together, and it's a great story all around. And it's all that time period, and it's all in Roma. And so. speaking of which, didn't they just release the full the Geo collection? Yeah. It's like 40 bucks for all of it. Yeah. All three. Re- yeah. Remastered, too. Yeah. For the... For I, I think it's for Xbox. Yeah, for Xbox. And you just lock the door and just play all these games. Because I have the Batman Arkham <clears throat> to get through. I have Red Dead Redemption to get through this summer. You're not going to get through that. Oh, my goodness. No, it's, it's, it's a, a long game. That's a 60 hours. Yeah, I still have Mass Effect to get to. I'm fucked. Uh, but, no, Egypt, we are excited. Again, not confirmed yet, but more than likely will be set in Egypt. We'll find out in a few a uh, few weeks at E3. Um, that was our impressions of the screenshot of supposedly Egypt. <laughs> Please let us know what, what you think of Assassin's Creed going through the Egypt setting.